This is attorney Andrea Witt. And I'm attorney Stephen Spano with the Legal and Financial Minute, or two. The Massachusetts Superior Court recently made it increasingly difficult to protect your life savings if your spouse goes into a nursing home. The new court ruling creating the restrictions was brought about by a healthy spouse going to court, claiming the state made a mistake when it denied mass health benefits to pay for the approximately $18,000 monthly nursing home bill for the ill spouse. $18,000. Well, during the mass health application process, the healthy spouse refused to provide the detailed documents that were requested by the state. And the state then denied the mass health coverage and refused to pay that exorbitant $18,000 a month nursing home bill. But there is a federal law that requires the federal Medicaid program to pay the nursing home bill in cases where the spouses refuse to cooperate. And since the MassHealth program must follow federal law, and it did so in 2006 when we, along with the Northeast Justice Center, brought a court case that confirmed the right of one spouse to refuse to cooperate with the other spouse during the MassHealth application process and still required the state to pay MassHealth benefits for the ill spouse. So what went wrong here and why is it so bad? Well, in the original 2006 case, the spouses lived apart and had very little communication. The healthy spouse knew nothing about the ill spouse's life. They simply never got a divorce because it was against their religion. But in this case, the two spouses lived together. The healthy spouse even cared for the ill spouse and they filed joint tax returns. The court essentially said the refusal to cooperate was a sham. What is so bad about this decision is that it will now cause additional hurdles for spouses that really are estranged from one another. MassHealth is an extremely complex program fraught with potential pitfalls. Be sure you have an expert help you and make sure the expert, what they're telling you, makes logical sense to you. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to sharing more practical, legal and financial information with you in the future. Watch for our next episode of A Legal and Financial Minute or two. Where we will continue to provide you with information to help you and those you love to protect your health, your assets, your income, and preserve your way of life. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to address, call or text Spano DeWicki and Wit at 781-231-7800 or email us at help at spanodewicki.com. Thank you for joining us.